her name I sing my lion song and brush my mane Hi, this is Greg Reporter and you're watching The Big Cheese Show She would and she could Evolution is an interesting um, uh, a, a term. Uh, I'd say, uh, um, I would say extension of, of the music. It's really extension of my musical ideas and my thoughts about, um, you know, uh, human conditions of, of you know, love and, and protest, um, which was, in a way, the unofficial title of Water. You know, love and protest, uh, because it contained both with, with the really the, the stream of water that kept uh, cropping up uh, through through different uh, different songs in the album. But yeah, I would say it's an extension of my my uh, my musical ideas. You know, that's a that's a that's an honorable list uh, to be even mentioned in, even just capturing any any uh, feel or or, or uh, similarity to those great artists. Not copying, yeah. but I think we're all coming from a similar pl place. They've all had some uh, experience um, uh, singing in church. Those artists and. Um, uh, that's that's very much the case for myself. My mother was a minister, and so I feel like I'm coming from the same place, um, delivering uh, music, the lyrics from a, a, a honest, uh, uh, you know, straightforward, um, you know, kind of a way. You know, I'm just, you know really trying to go straight to the heart of the matter emotionally. Well, um, I used to, I used to, uh, my, my, I sang a little, a little song on a, on a, a little tape recorder when I was a, a kid, about five or six. And uh, uh, the song was, uh, once upon a time, I had a dream boy. Once upon a time, I had a love. Um, and I remember playing it for her when she came home from work. And she said, boy, you sound like Nat King Cole. It was an interesting, uh, it was an interesting name for me. I was like, who is Nat King Cole? And my father wasn't around at the time, and I didn't know him. Um, and she said I did something like somebody. And so that was, uh, it, it piqued some, some curiosity in me. And I, I was like, who, 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 is, who did I do something like? Who do I sound like? <laughs> and I remember breaking into her records and listening to Nat King Cole and having that music kind of wash over me in, a, in a, a very profound way. And it's not something that I think about now as an adult. I remember thinking about it as a child. I was like, wow, this is really powerful, powerful music. You know, that's probably something that, like, if it was going to happen, like, the family would come to me and, and, uh, and, and say, would you do it? And I, yeah, absolutely, I would. But, um, but I'm, I'm, I'm quite uh, satisfied from time to time, you know, I do his music. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's really interesting how uh, his name and his family kind of swirl around me all the time. Um, you know, I was, I, I wrote a musical, of course, you know, with his music and half his music, half my music. And uh, I got a call from his, his daughter. Um, and just recently, I, his brother, Freddie Cole, uh, invited me to, to, to work with him on some, uh, some projects in the future. So, it's, you know, it's really interesting. Um, he's, you know, been there both from the beginning uh, to, you know, currently being in my life career-wise, it's really interesting.
Yeah, well, a perfect weather all the time. And, um, and it, it was an interesting time in my life. College is a time where you're, you're discovering yourself, what you want to do, who you want to be, you know, how you want to be it. And um, I just remember trying to discover and find uh, my way. I was uh, playing football, a uh, football scholarship, and I uh, injured my shoulder, so I wasn't able to play anymore. So then I, I, I started to, uh, uh, as well as studies, you know, concentrate on on finding a way into to music. And um, uh, I started to do that with, um, uh, you know, any and every opportunity uh, that I had, whether it was singing, uh, you know, for some special event, for, you know, uh, Black History Month, or did a whole bunch of, you know, different things I was doing. Um, but, but uh, you know, th that time, uh, is, 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 you know, just like I said before, it's just, it's a time of discovery and figuring out who you are. And for me, it was both figuring out who I am as, as an artist and, and figuring out my voice, you know. Um, I probably would have gone in a slightly different direction. My time, my timeline would have been different. I love music and I was basically, you know, I was the, the singing football player, you know, but uh, whatever it is that I would, was, was going to do after football, um, I would, you know, whether it was, you know, being a, a working for the government or, or a dentist or whatever, I would be the singing dentist or the, you know, or the singing <laughs> government employee <laughs> or whatever, you know. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of a difficult thing to say. Oh yeah, I'm going to be a professional singer, and people are going to want to come and see me at a concert. You know, it's, I mean, I thought that I had a, a, a interesting sound, but there's no guarantees in anything. 1960 what? 1960 who? 1960 what? 1960 who? 19. Hey, the Motor City is burning. You know. Um, Really, what everybody else does, or not everybody else, well, what, what certain artists do um, is their choice. But for me, uh, you know, from five, four or five years old, my mother said, uh, would say, sing with an understanding. And, and I do that now. So when I, when I do that, uh, you know, I want to say something that, that makes sense to me. You know, I can, I listen, every, everything under the sun has a, a place in time. And you know, there's a, those are some, when you're on the dance floor, you know, this may be a song or two of mine that you don't want to hear. You want to hear, boom, 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 boom. you know, that's what you want to hear. But for me, uh, when I'm singing and, and, and you have the attention of somebody's ear, why not say something, you know, a positive that 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 has uh, 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 that can have a real meaning, and so that's that's uh, and um, it's not a it's for me. It's this is what I feel. It's what I what I believe, and it's the direction I'm trying to come from in an organic way. So. Yeah, yeah. You know, I I, I, I would. Um, you know, it's, it's really this, this song, uh, the song, the song, the song, you know, I, I sing, um, uh, you know, uh, blues and gospel and jazz um, uh, and soul music um, and, and R&B. All of these influences have affected uh, me as an artist. And, and I think, uh, uh, I think uh, that if, if a song is just saying something, uh, interesting and, and powerful in a way, um, it, it doesn't matter the genre, I, it really doesn't, you know. I'm subject to do a, I'm doing a reggae song tonight, so there you go. These masters of peace and light, layers of color and time, step back and admire But we'll see. This is, we've, we've yet to know. Um, it's, 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 uh, it's been my style. I've been all over the world and, um, and on, on, on the biggest stages. And, uh, you know, here
here I am. This is me, Greg Porter.